Good morning, little friends. It's a Wednesday. It's May 20th, 2020. Uh, so it's, the dates today is kind of fun to write. It's 5-20-20. Right? You know, whenever we hit a 20, it's kind of fun to just have two 20s in a row. So today's that day. It's Wednesday. It is raining at my house today. It pretty much rained all night long, um, which I kind of like that sound when I'm sleeping. Um, it's just so peaceful, but I think I'm ready to go back and play outside and get some warm weather again. How about you? Yeah, yeah. So go ahead and keep graphing the weather though through the month of May in your calendar math. Um, and we'll just hope that the rain waters the earth. We know that God's plans are perfect like that and he does things in an orderly way. And so I know that the rain is going to make the flowers so beautiful when they continue to pop out of the earth. Um, so grab some sweats today and snuggle in. Um, grab some good books to read on a lap or something like that. Um, and it just it's kind of a cozy day and that's okay. So May 20th though, let's check over here. What would you think would come next if we were doing our pattern on our calendar? Remember yesterday was a blue one and we started our week with red. So we kind of caught the middle of our pattern. It was red, green, blue. So it might help even to look back up in our pattern. After one blue, there's a second blue this week. So. Here is my blue 20. So for my week as I colored, it would be red on Sunday, green on Monday, and then blue, blue on Tuesday and on Wednesday. Yesterday we hit a zero the hero because we were at day 160 of school. <clears throat> so I'm gonna add one more, just one more today, and I would be at 100. 61 days smarter. 161, 161. Your passwords did. DID, you can tap it out. D -id, d -id, did. Or it's one that we're just going to keep reading and make sure that you know that DID spells did. Did you know that? I did. Here's my digress. We'll keep working on those. Um, and my memory verse is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting, or sometimes it says eternal, life. John 3, 16. Um, so keep practicing that one. Learn it together. Get it trapped in your heart so that when your head starts to worry, your heart can say, no, no, we know God's truth. We know God's truth. So... That's why it's so important to do that. And then my countdown is getting shorter over here. I know some of you have countdowns at your house too. Um, tomorrow is our last day for this week because we're just going through Thursday. And then you have a nice long weekend and then we've got next week that we're gonna do some great learning too. So you can do it, you can do it. All right, here is our stuff for the day calendar math. Did you write your password? I wanted to remind you, our May song, M-A-Y spells May, can't you see? M-A-Y spells May, can it be? M-A-Y spells May, we can spell it every day. M-A-Y spells May, yes sirree. And it says woo woo, but we would always go, yay ha! So that's one of those things as you learn to spell May, then you can rhyme out a lot of those words as we're learning how letters work um, to get our reading brains nice and strong. So it's Wednesday, and because it's a short week, um, I have handwriting for you today with the letter Z, but I'd like you to do the whole thing today, not split it up into two days. So do the whole thing. You can do it. You can do it. We, we do it at school on Wednesdays. You can do it here at home too. You're gonna be okay. So the whole thing, please, for Z's, make sure that you slow down and make them the right way, and don't flip your Z's backwards. So do the writing first and the sentence for all the pages and then go back and color. So there's your Z page. Then there's just one more page left of your reading comprehension for today. It's called My Friend. And today, instead of coloring the circles for your answer, you're gonna write your answer in a complete sentence. What is my friend's name? Then you're gonna make a full sentence, a complete sentence, not just one word. You're gonna say, my friend's name is is so use some of the words 
in the question as a resource to be able to turn it around. My friend's name is So you have to read the story and figure it out. So there's just one page of this today. Um, and then if you want to do baskets too, that's great. Uh, for phonics today, um, I'd like you to hop on a Teacher Monster or Starfall and work on those digraphs um, and be listening to them. You can even do the Z page or the Z letter on Starfall if you'd like as well. Um, and then I have another one of our little rainy, rainy day guys. Maybe I should stop putting these guys in. Maybe that's why it's raining so much. I don't know. I don't have that much control of the weather. But I've got different passwords this time. So we, the, and, can, you, see, all of them are passwords we've worked on. So you're in a roll, do a quick color, say the word out loud when you have that number. So we're, again, we're working at getting those words in your cute little brains. Then for our Zoom today with math, um, we're gonna go to this page and we're gonna talk about the height of an object and the length of an object. So it's this one with a cat on the front and it's 11.5. So join me for our Zoom today. We're gonna to do this one. And you need a red and you need a blue. Red and blue. Now, markers go through the paper, we know that. So crayons would be better or even colored pencils would be okay as well. So we'll do that. Um, Jump on Rocket Math, keep working on those math facts, get your brains nice and smart with things like that, um, and keep exploring around you too with those mystery science links. So um, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon on our Zoom call.